Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view the status of samples at the lab and view and update samples in transit to the lab using FluidLive's MyLab. Typically, I look at these views when the sample results I'm waiting for are not ready yet. I'll start by clicking the Review New Results task. I see that the sample I'm looking for isn't here yet. I can see that the lab is currently analyzing 10 samples for me here. I'll click here to view that list. This takes me to the samples in lab view. On the left, I can see each sample, what equipment it came from, and when it was sampled. The progress bar here shows me how far along the lab is in analyzing each sample. As each test is done and the lab reviews the sample, the progress is updated. The capital W indicates that the component the sample is for is on the watch list. By clicking on a sample to select it, I can see the full sample information on the right. As the lab is already working on testing these samples, if I need to update any information, I need to call the lab so they can take the changes into account as they could affect the testing being performed. I can also sort the samples by the percentage done here. I can also sort by the sample date. My lab will remember my preferred sort order and use it for me next time. If my sample has not arrived at the lab, I can verify it was registered correctly by clicking on the In Transit view here. On the left, I get a list of all the samples registered. These samples have yet to arrive at the lab and don't have any progress shown. If I select one, again I can see the full sample information on the right. As these have not arrived at the lab, I can update the information if it's incorrect by entering new information and pressing save. I can also select several samples using the checkboxes and then print new labels for them here. Your administrator can also place the at the lab task or the samples in transit task on your home page like this for you if you use them frequently. That completes the in transit and at the lab demonstration. Thank you for watching.